In 1974, Airbus introduced the A300 to the world. Then, in 1983, they introduced the A310. 1988 brought the A320. 1993 brought the A330 and A340. 2005 brought the A380. And then in 2015, they introduced the A350. Something is clearly off here. After establishing a clear pattern in how their planes are named, Airbus jumped straight from the A340 to the A380. What led them to skip the A350, A360, and A370? Let me explain. First, a bit of background. In the early 2000s, Boeing and Airbus had contrasting views for what the future of aviation might look like. Boeing thought the future of air travel was point to point. Passengers would demand more direct long haul travel rather than connections through a hub. This necessitated an ultra efficient mid-sized jet, which later became the 787. Airbus thought different. With demand for commercial aviation set to increase substantially in the coming decades, they thought the only way to reduce airport congestion was by building a truly massive double-decker plane. Its ridiculous size is one theory for why Airbus decided to name this jet the A380. And at first pass, it kind of makes sense. If you look at the Airbus jets in production at the time of the A380's launch, each sequential plane number reflected an increase in passenger capacity. The A320 carried 180 passengers, the A330 carried 270 passengers, and the A340 carried 330 passengers. This new double-decker jet was set to carry 575 passengers. Considering that this new jet carried nearly double as many passengers as the A340, the thought is that Airbus decided to double the plane's designated number. But this explanation is all just conjecture. What's much more likely is that the airplane got its name because of China. China's demand for air travel has exploded in the past couple of decades. The country is set to overtake the US as the world's largest aviation market in 2024, and the IATA projects that Chinese airlines will fly 1.3 billion passengers in the year 2035. Considering Airbus's new double-decker jet was supposed to tackle the problem of airport congestion, they believe that China would be a robust market for the A380 and ultimately make the program profitable. And in Chinese culture, the number eight is incredibly lucky and is typically associated with wealth and success. So, in a marketing move designed to appease this massive addressable market, Airbus skipped straight to the A380. This actually isn't the only time an aircraft manufacturer has used the number 8 to appease Chinese customers. After the 747-400 was a smashing success in the 90s, Boeing decided to revamp the jet in the 2010s with new wings and engines to go head-to-head -head with the A380. And rather than calling it the 747-500, they decided to call it the 747-8. In an odd twist of fate though, it turns out that neither jet sold well in China. Boeing sold just 21 747-8s to just two Chinese customers, Air China and Cathay Pacific. Airbus fared even worse, selling just five A380s in China all of which went to China Southern. Even though it never sold well in China, the A380 is still an instantly iconic jet. And it's a fantastic example of just how much thought goes into every little detail of an airplane, even something as simple as its name. If you learned something new today, leave a like and subscribe to keep learning. And until I see you again, don't forget to look up.